Jack Harlow, otherwise known as Jackman Thomas Harlow, dropped his second studio album, Come Home, The Kids Miss You. And right off the bat, I want to spill the hard truth and rip open the dirty band-aid. This album is not good. I was baffled at how terrible this album was. And listen, I have nothing against Jack Harlow as a person. This guy is a rising star. People are already calling him the next Drake. And for good reason, he has a very likable and charismatic personality. What is up with the Fallon and why would you say you're fouling so much out here? You are so fine, bro. However, boy, he does not channel that same charisma and energy in his music. You know what? Might as well get this over with. This is album reviews and tier list. Yeah. Talk of the Town is a really bland and boring way to start the album. The production sounds empty, and the song itself is way too short for me to even care. C tier. Young Harleezy is a really confusing track. The flow and lyrics get stale real fast, and Snoop Dogg's feature is so unnecessary and lazy. Certainly not worth 250k. The only redeeming quality to the song is the production, which has this jazzy and mellow vibe to it. But even that does nothing for me. C tier again. And then we have I Do Anything to Make You Smile, which on the surface level isn't as boring as the first two tracks, but the content matter and lyrics are so weak and devoid of substance. When you get awful bars like, I say it to you, like an Ed Sheeran song to you, cause I love the shape of you. I don't care how good your flow is, like good lord, that is awful. Yeah, C tier again. First class is D tier. I'm so bored by this album already, and we get another boring song, where the only good thing about it is the chorus, which samples Fergie's hit song Glamorous. Besides that, the verses are weak, we get more terrible bars, there's zero substance. Dua Lipa is the album's first decent song. It's the first instance with a corny, tongue-in-cheek writing, kinda works for the song concept. I'm gonna go B tier. Moving on to side piece, it's a song made for girls, who are in love with his music, which is totally fine. Jack Harlow is allowed to make music for his fan base, but I don't have to enjoy it, and I don't. D tier. Movie Star is another awful song. The Pharrell beat is so weak, and his hook is even worse. We get more laughably terrible bars. I like to dictate things, Kim Jong. -un. Can I just say it's trash and move on? Then we get Lil Secret, which is a song I could not care less about. He's got the same boring flow, the same boring lyrics about being famous and having boring girl problems. Yeah, D tier. I Got A Shot is slightly better, but that's not really saying much. At least it's more upbeat and catchy, but we're still blessed with some awful lyrics. C tier. Churchill Downs, finally a song that's actually great. I mean, yeah, sure, it sounds like a Drake song with a Jack Carlo feature, you know, right down to Jack's flow and the OVO sounding soul production. But it's one of the only songs on this album with an actual concept. It's a B plus for me. Like a Blade of Grass is C tier. Literally nothing more to say. Parent Trap has a cool vibe to it. I like Justin Timberlake's chorus and certainly one of Jack's better performances on the album. But still, it's very forgettable and really, I took nothing out of the song. Yeah, C tier. Poison is C tier. It's like Drake possessed the spirit of Jack Harlow because this Kentucky boy sounds exactly like Drake. Even down to the Lil Wayne feature. Thankfully, Nail Tech is a really good single. It's the best song on the album. But again, that's not really saying much. At least the song is catchy, and thank god for the absence of any cringy bars. I'm gonna go B+. And finally, State Fair, a more introspective track where Jack talks about his rise to fame and dealing with his newfound success as a superstar. I'll give it a B tier. Ultimately, this project was a huge letdown. It just came down to the songs having zero substance. Even though the production was decent, it felt very hollow and empty. Aside from a handful of songs, I'd give it like a 3 out of 10. Alright, thank you for watching. Smash that like button and subscribe. Peace out.